Okay, so in our last video, we set up celiactive.com, our example website, um, for different types of displays, including uh, mobile displays and such, so it's responsive as we size the browser in and out. Now, let's uh, go ahead and just print it and see how that looks. So I'll hit print, and I'm just going to print it to a PDF. Okay, so here we go. Here's the site in print. So there's a few things that we aren't necessarily too thrilled about here. You'll notice we've got the box shadow, which is just going to be a waste of ink and not really that necessary. We've got uh, navigation, which we don't really need because nobody can really click on it in print. We've got headers spilling over. We're using a lot of space that we could really tighten up. So um, let's go ahead and uh, add some print styles. So I'm going to use a media query just like we have here and except for this time I'm going to just uh, target print rather than screen. So I've got these styles saved in my clipboard so I just pasted them. So here we go. I'm putting the media query hat media print open curly brace down here at the bottom I'm closing up the curly brace and then inside I have a bunch of styles and let's take a look at these styles here in a moment but first let's go see what they're doing so we'll go hit print again open our PDF and preview oh I forgot to refresh here we go refresh the page print and voila much better. So let's see what we did. Okay, so here are the styles. So a couple of things. I went through and turned background colors to white in the body, in the main content div, further down in the featured products and lead article divs. And I turned off borders, so I have border none. I set the width of our uh, content main div to 100% rather than 90% so that it spans the width of the whole page. Um, I turned off our background image. Uh, I turned off our text shadow. And uh, I didn't worry about the header, changing the font in the header because that's kind of like our logo and our brand. But in other headings, or other H1, H2, H3, H4s, I changed the font family to Times New Roman. And, uh, and then I also set all of our header uh, tags to um, points. Same with our paragraph tags. So in print we use points, which uh, you should be familiar with if you've used Microsoft Word, because that's what you typically set your um, font sizes in, in that program because it's uh, they're really points is what's used for print. So um, I've turned off our unordered list and our header which is our navigation so I've set a display none property so it doesn't display uh, because there really is no way that a, um, somebody can click on a navigation element in print. Uh, on our lead article I've set the width to 100% on that rather than 76% I think is what we had it on the page. Turned off our border. Um, same with featured products. I set the width there to 100%. Uh, turned off the border and then on the images I set a width of 5 M's. So I'm not using pixels. I'm not using percentages. I'm using M's because that is again a print uh, measurement. So an M you recall is about the width of the M character and in print and so uh, I'm doing the same thing I'm using M's on the div that's wrapping around each of these featured product items so 6M gets us something in the range of what you're gonna see here on the bottom uh, this would be about 6M across here from here to here um, and uh, and then I'm also setting an M height this way but I set the uh, widths thin enough that we aren't really spilling down so the height isn't that important but it's there nonetheless. 
Uh, I didn't do anything with the footer. I guess I could um, set it to display none because it's the same principle. We don't really necessarily need it to show, but I'm anticipating maybe I'll want to put some additional um, footer information in there. So I'm going to leave that for now. But uh, yeah, check out the difference here. So now it's a lot more printer friendly and a lot easier on the eyes for print and we're ready to go. Um, that's how you go about doing uh, media queries for print.